Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 177. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Right, so we are here for the Class E World Championship. I'm going to be taking the Toyota Celica as voted by chat. Um... Yeah, we got three races. We got the Circuit de Catalunya, Sedona Raceway, and then Silverstone. Let's get going. All right, here we go. We're at Circuit de Catalunya. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that the World Championships go through... Oh, shit. Do you know what I haven't done? I can't play audio as well. There you go. Much better. <laughs> Fixed it. But yeah, I believe, um... What's it called? Yeah, I believe these uh, championships, if I'm not mistaken, they have the same races, but then they add either laps to the races, or they add another race, or both the end of it so we'll always have catalonia as like the first race i believe i will double check that though whatever it takes i would become a must mustang driver to get one of those <laughs> man this week is a lovely lovely car i actually saw um it's not the Celica. It might be the sleep. Is it a sleeper? No, it's a, it's a different... Um... I'm trying to think what it is. It's a Toyota, but it's not the sleeper. It's similar to the sleeper. Uh, I can't remember what it is. I saw one at work, though. I don't think it was a Supra. But it was like a sports car. Um, it's like one of their cheaper sports cars. The M... No, it's not the M2. It might be a Mark III Supra. I'm not 100% sure. I'll see if I can find what car it was. It might be a Salika then. It might be a Salika and I just... No, because that's the... Oh, uh, I'll, I'll try and find pictures and I will point to the exact one. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what my first car is going to be. I've passed, I can legally drive. I just need to get an actual car. I spent all this money on driving lessons so I can learn how to drive and be able to drive. Can't drive a car yet because I ain't got a car or insurance, so... I 
trying to get the cheapest shitbox in good shape. That's what I'm looking for, but I don't want a shitbox that is literally a shitbox. Like... Shit. The thing is, I want an older car that's just... Yeah, that is a shitbox. If it breaks down, it breaks down. But it needs to be in somewhat good maintained condition. And the ones that I've found that are cheaper, it, it's almost like people went into a car, jumped into it, and then just decided to hit everything with a hammer. And it's like, well, how the fuck do you... Does nobody in this world actually take care of their property? Like, I understand if you break a phone because you can drop it. And that's understandable. You can't drop a fucking car, though. Like, how the hell do you damage parts of your car? Yeah, Fiesta, I think, is the optimal starter, but I can't find a fucking Fiesta. Obviously, if you crash the car on the outside, fair enough, but it's not sellable at like that point. What, so you're telling me you can lift up a car and drop it? Yeah, it's like... We have quite a few Fiestas, Ford Fiestas. We've got quite a few Focuses. Uh, a lot of Vauxhall Astras and Corsas um, on the used market. I don't want to get a Vauxhall. Because I think they look absolute dog shit. I'm not a fan of the Voxel. Not a fan of Voxels at all. I think yeah that's a good idea I didn't think of that I need to try and avoid having more than two seats is more fun than going on country roads at 3 a.m. going 95, praying not to see my parade for at least another week. Oh my god. <laughs> Kids, I don't condone this. <laughs> oh, that's so great. I'm going to get an LSD on my new BMW soon. It's rear-wheel drive with cringe. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> Beat motherfuckers! Look at that launch because it's four wheel drive. That's fucking mental. Oh, fair enough. I have actually seen a couple of one series beamers been sold for about 1500 not a bad shout but again why is it 1500 is it something I don't know that's what I'm concerned about that I saw right and I was this close to doing it a Alfa Romeo um, I think it was a Mito it was either a Mito or a Julia no, it's not Julia, it's Judy. Uh, I can't remember what the name is. But I think it was the Minto. And it was a Grand. It was in good condition. And I was this close to buying it. I was this close to buying the car. Focus is quite good. 
but yeah, everyone gets either a, well, to be fair, every guy gets a Fiesta as well, so yeah, every girl gets a five, Fiat 500, every guy gets either a Focus or a Fiesta. Though, to be fair, um, there are, I believe, three Suzukis. Where I work. Everyone owns Suzuki Swifts for some unknown reason. So. And I, I'm looking at buying a Swift as well. <laughs> oh, which is really funny. Why, Dad? Cause she came out of my balls. Rex sent it three times into the field and the third set destroyed the car. It's a good choice on the <laughs> Yeah, a lot less Fiestas than Focuses, I will admit, but still. Fiesta is like number two. Bar like the Corsa. Like Focus, Fiesta, Corsa, Astra. Those are the four main cars that people get as like first cars, and I don't want any of them. I want something different. I don't want to just have what everyone else picks as a first car. Yeah, it's better that this can be good for my hand. When I rap like this, do I sound like shit? Really don't really matter. I'm feeling this shit. Yeah, I'm feeling this shit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I'm feeling this shit. I mean, how many times have you been feeling this shit? Oh, MX5 is a good shout. But it depends how much of it an MX5 is. No wheels hanging off multiple times from B road bashing. Jesus Christ. No, no, oh, no, no, please do not do that. Bobby boy snap. You got me Bobby boy snap. Bobby boy. Garage for a project drift car. When I do that, if you don't have a car by it, then get a share and we can fix it up. Yeah, I might have to. I can get a series out of it as well. <laughs> Pays for itself. It is like Yankees. Unload it. Hold up, I said rubber because now your rubber is red. Oh my apologies, I said making dark sounds. Woof! I still think the roof will go over your head. Pop up headlights are fucking. I don't get, uh, okay, I get why cars don't have it because aerodynamics and whatnot, but let it be an option. Do you want your car with pop-up headlights, yes or no? Because if every car had that option, I would say, yep, pop-up headlights, yep, every single time. I love pop-up headlights. It gives car personality, it, it gives cars a personality almost. Like, Oh, hello! <laughs> it's brilliant! Why wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, it's build cost as well. I think it's just aerodynamics. Any car could probably have a couple of headlights. The whole reason I fucking hate most cars made in the last 15 years, they're honestly so boring. Exactly! I mean, look at that! This car looks like a weird spider, but it's cool! Like, the bug eyes and the mo- The only thing is, BMW tried to do it once with a BMW, and they only did it in one car, and it's so ugly. It's the worst looking car in the world. I love this song. Hurt Less by The Chemists and Jenna G! BMW is going to be a 2024 with a new ugly ass bumper. Why are you getting it then? 
If you think it's ugly, where'd you get it? I really wish the chemist would make a return 45k car for 22k for the sell that bitch if I don't wrap it around the shiny. Until it, fair enough. Fair play. Beaver teeth fit only at SUVs from BMW. I'll be honest, some of the SUVs where they've got the beaver teeth, yeah, that's a great way of putting it. Beaver teeth, that's what they are. But um, I think they look much better on that than, for example, fucking... Why are you not focusing? There you go. The actual normal cars, it doesn't fit. I like... Um, what's it called? The really long ones on the M8. I really like that group. I think the M8 competition is one of the best BMWs out of this new BMW design era. I think it's one of the best looking. But I, I will admit my favorite BMW ever is the 2009 M5. That is my favorite BMW. Just because it's got quite an aggressive look to it. Yeah, M8 comps is pretty good. But it, it's still not my favorite. The thing is, with car design, I shouldn't be able to go back 10, 15, 20 years ago and say that car is better than what's being made now. That shouldn't be how it is. We should be innovating. We should make better looking cars. Right now, they're all just copy and paste looking for aerodynamics and whatnot. Realistically speaking, the most aerodynamic car will be a bullet shape and eventually they'll all have exactly the same shape because they're too focused on aerodynamics. My self-medication Not to 30 speed. <laughs> oh my god, I hate that. That should never be a saying. Never say that again. Joe, you know I'm gonna make not to 30 a banned phrase in my chat. <laughs> That's so dis it's true, but it's so disturbing. The fact that car companies would do like not to 30 speeds. Skoda Octavia, very similar, yeah. You are 100% correct. Get the fuck out of the way, you focus prick. Performance cars are built just for Nürburgring nowadays too, yeah. James May. <laughs> I hate the Nürburgring. Anything that's got Nürburgring in the name means ruined. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. It's so funny though watching James May rant about fucking the Nurburgring and everything else. Cheese. Ha, ha. Here we go.
I got your money, woohoo! I got your money. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think car companies should be dabbling outside of their area. Like that new SUV that Ferrari made? It's a Mazda. It's a Mazda. Ferrari should not be making SUVs. Lamborghini shouldn't be making SUVs either, but to be fair, the Urus is. It worked. They pulled it off and it actually looks okay. But they were gambling so badly. RDLCs. Did you hear that um, Mercedes was going to charge people a certain amount of months to unlock electric cars full acceleration? Fucking imagine buying a car and then being told, oh yeah, give us more money and we'll let you actually use it. That's fucking nuts. That's like if you bought, bought an iPhone, but then you had to pay money to actually unlock it every time. Oh yeah, would you like to unlock your phone? Yeah, you had to pay us 30 pence every time you unlock your phone. Fucking imagine that. You'd be livid. So why the fuck are car manufacturers doing it? talk about this topic of language. <laughs> Don't worry. I had like an almost two hour rant about it for an entire stream. So it's like three or four videos that I've recorded. I'm just bitching about fucking cars and the fact that they're charging you for things. Tesla started it as well. Why the fuck would you put heated seats in a car and then say, oh yeah, your car has heated seats, but you can't actually use it unless in there. Don't put the fucking thing in. Let me come to your garage and get it put into my car. No. Yeah, I'll stop. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Uh -oh.